Stay connected. Distance is not a barrier. Amazing testimony. Our solution in Christ Jesus. Jesus can save you today. Receive your breakthrough. Distance is not a barrier. My name is uh, Sister Jennifer Omeni. I'm standing here today to testify of the power of God and how God healed me of demonic attack. It happens on Friday at about 2 o'clock in the night. Was it this past Friday? Or? This past Friday. So as I was sleeping, at a time it's like I cannot breathe. I became so weak. It's like there were tying rope on my neck. They were tying my neck, my, my chest started expanding, my stomach was swollen. I can't breathe, I started shouting and I called my husband. I said, please, please open the door, go and call Mama Jude, that is Pastor in front. I said, go and call Mama Jude, go and call Mama Jude. My husband said, I don't know them. I said, go to that compound, go and call them. Please, Pastor, can you come forward? I said, go and call them. At the time, I was hearing a voice that said, run to that compound. If only you can lay your hand on that door, you will be healed. So at this time, I was urinating on my body. At the time, I find out that I was excreting. There's nothing wrong with me. I start shouting. I say, God, have mercy. Forgive me whatever way that I've wronged you. Forgive me. I'm dying. I was telling my husband. I say, I am dying. But this spirit keep telling me, run to these people. Run to that door. Go and touch that door. So at the time, I could not wait. My husband was say, jump inside the car. Let me take you to here. There's one woman pastor there. I said, they said I should go to that door. I should go to that door. And I left him with the car. I ran to the door. Immediately, I went there. I saw, they said, I am more than conqueror in that door. I just... The Holy Ghost power! I rushed to the door immediately. And, and I put my two hands on the... Are you trying to say it's a sticker that was on that door? sticker there, I just placed my hand on that uh, sticker, and it's like the sticker is hot. And I start shouting, Mama Jude, Mama Jude, please, now Jennifer, come out, come out, I'm dying, come out, I'm dying. As I was screaming and shouting on top of my voice, nobody in that compound came out, despite the pastors and pastors that live in that compound. At the time I was saying, I said, oh God, so this is how I would die. So please God, forgive me. Whatever way that I've wronged you, God forgive me. I was only asking of the mercy of God at that period because I don't know the next step. So the son now came out and said, call daddy in the Lord. Call daddy in the Lord. My husband was just there. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Touching me. Touching me. Jenny. Jenny. So when they got the man of God on the phone and the man said that rope on that woman's neck I command it to lose. I command it to lose. The Holy Ghost power. I command it to lose. So at a time, he now called the pastor's wife. At this time, I said, pour me water. Pour me water. They were pouring water on me. The next thing I had on my neck was cool. And uh, I now breathed down. <clears throat> my husband now thought I was dead. He now started touching me. He now started touching me, shaking. He said, madam, the wife said, don't worry, don't worry. That is fine. That time, the man of God was still praying for me. He said, wherever wherever they gathered i don't want to know who they are i don't know want to know how many they are i said lose lose at the time my stomach started uh, turning 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 i became so weak i could not stand up but they were still pouring water on me after the man of god finished praying he said they should put water in the cup he prayed inside that water and i drink i started feeling sleepy i told my husband my husband said he's not going home that is going to sleep here. I say, why will you sleep here? Everybody, me, I wasn't talking to himself, he's a wife. Because at this period, I don't know where my spirit is. I'm not myself, I don't even know myself. So after the prayer, they now took me to their house. I slept on the floor in the night. It's like three things fly out of my stomach at about three o'clock. And I woke up, I said, Mama Jude, 
three things fly out of my stomach. He said I would die. I say I mean. So that was how I now recovered myself. And I became myself in the morning I went back home. It's like I want to have malaria. This uh, I am more than conquered hanky. And I soak it in the water and I drink. I use it to rub all my body. And I started feeling uh, fine. That was yesterday. So that yesterday, it was evening again. This thing started. Maogana said, let me call that man in England again. So Maoga called the general overseer in England. That is in the person of St. Edmund. Yes. So when we got the man, at first they said, drop your message. So later I prayed. I said, God, this man prayed for me that night. I don't want to hear this drop your message. Oh. I want to talk to him one on one. So when I called him, he answered me very cool. He said, hello. I said, hello, sir. I am the lady you prayed for that Friday morning at about 2 o'clock. I say, I am telling you right now that I'm okay. I, I didn't tell him that I'm still feeling that something, or maybe the breath is still disturbing me. I just told him, I say, I am fine. He said, are you sure? I say, yes. I say, I am fine. It's okay. Stand up. Let me see. And I stood up. He said, jump. I jump. He said, I can see that you are uh, fine and healthy. I say, yes. He said, no problem. He said, you only have your testimony to give. I said, thank you, sir. And he prayed for me. He said, such will never repeat itself again. He said, it is a gang up of the enemies that don't want you to see next year. But his God, the God that he served, will make me to see next year and above. I said, thank you, sir. And that's why today I'm standing here to testify, to tell you people that really, there is God in this church here. There is God. If the sticker, if God can direct me to his sticker. The Holy Ghost power, the kingdom power, who did this? Jesus. Whoa. Please, a better clap offering unto the King of Glory. God is too much. I'm telling everybody here that there is God in this place. Because I don't know if there was sticker there or there is anything in that door that could heal me. Several times when I have problem, I run to Pastor Fon to pray for me. And this problem is always midnight, 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 midnight. I will run to him to pray for me. But this day, my mind was not going there at all. My, my mind was like, let me take medicine or do whatever I can do and sleep. But in this case, the rope was so tight that I started pissing on my body. My chest was like this, my stomach. Even the son was shouting, say, Auntie Jennifer, you are so fat. I said, Jude, I'm dying. Forget about this fat. Oh. I'm dying here. I'm dying here. And my God was just shouting, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. So brothers and sisters, let me tell you. You see this sticker. This sticker, I am more than conqueror. That sticker, there is power in that sticker. The Holy Ghost power. There is power in the word. There is power in the word of God in that speaker. The because speaker? He, immediately I touch it. It's like when I touch fire. It's like something shocked me with that thing. And at that time, I can feel that I can talk well. And I started screaming on top of my voice. As everybody come out, everybody comes. In that compound, there are many pastors there. Majority of them are deeper life. Some are redeemed. As everybody come out, come out, come out. Nobody came out from that compound. Nobody came out to assist me. It was only the wife, the son. This I am more than conqueror uh, hanky. That brought me to life today. That is the holy kachi. I thank this great God for keeping me alive for my children and my entire family. Amen. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Recovery TV. Stay connected. Distance is not a barrier. That voice keep telling me, if you can run. If you can run and touch that door, even at a time I was confused, I say run to which door, run to which door, and that's something keep directing me to Baba Jude door. He said, just lay your two hand. I was hearing that voice. I don't know where the voice is coming from. He said, run as fast as you can. Just touch that door, and you'll be safe. And that was how today I'm standing here to testify of the goodness of God in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen, brethren. All this scenario, I was not around. After the service here on Wednesday, I left to camp. So I was in the camp. It was yesterday evening on getting home. My wife told me all this scenario. So I then now went to her to confirm it. So on getting there, I met her outside. 
she said she's like it's like she's having some kind of challenges so i prayed with her then i didn't encourage her i said today is the last bus stop that you should follow me to the service the brethren will join and and pray with her the church and she will experience a better living amen amen we bless god for that and yesterday night as i was sleeping i have not seen the general overseer of this church before but in that dream it's like a man was telling me in that dream that somebody in this estate where you live vowed that you will not see the year 2020 but as i stand here today i decree that you will see 2020 wow. in platform wow. and i woke up and i told my god say i saw that man who is like pastor Maybe is that Pastor Morgan say, yes, yes, maybe is that Pastor in that sticker that we we saw. I say if I come to church today, I will look very well. So today when I started looking at this uh, pamphlet that Baba Jude bought for me, it was the same man. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power is the kingdom power. The kingdom power is the Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power is the Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power is the kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power is a kingdom power. The kingdom power. many more what God does in the kingdom recovery church. Somebody you have not seen before. You see how God revealed it to him. That is the angel of the church. Hallelujah. You have experienced blessings and deliverance. May the name of the Lord be glorified. God bless you, sister. Amazing testimony. Our solution in Christ Jesus. Jesus can save you today. Receive your breakthrough. Distance is not a barrier. From away. I want to glorify the name of the Lord for what he did in my life. God saved me from bullets, me and my children. We were inside house on 27. The party they did at uh, legally there. All the uh, police that were there shooting their gun. Ta, 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 the next thing I had on my sling, boom! Bullet from nowhere enter my house. I was lying down, my children, all of us were all gathering together there. I shout to Jesus. When I get up, I took touch. I look everywhere. I did not see anything. I only saw the pieces of uh, ceiling that fell down on the floor. Then when we look up, my sister just carried touch. Look there. See hole on top of my ceiling. The bullet was there. This is the bullet. I said, God, this is the bullet. The bullet. God, God magnetized the bullet there. The bullet did not come down. Okay, the bullet got stuck so in the so, ceiling. The open door was there. The open place was there. The bullet hung. did not fall down. My sister just went and bring the bullet. In your palm or something? No. This is my power. Oh. Yes. Okay. Please, can you pick it? Can you pick it? This is the bullet. This is the bullet. So it got stuck in the ceiling. It got magnetized it there. It did not fall down. 
At the end, my sister just go and bring this thing. Say, ah, this is the bullet. Let the camera pick it. This is an evidence. Are you seeing it, brethren? You see what God can do? What God has been doing? The God of St. Edmund? See what God has been doing? Aha! Uh -huh. St. Edmund has decreed 2020. We are going to see it to the end. But the enemy thought he can, he can penetrate. He has lost the battle. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. A clap offering unto the Lord Jesus. You can imagine if this bullet has touched somebody, entered into any of either a sister or a member of the family. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. God bless you. Recovery TV. Recovery TV. Recovery TV.